Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to the latest Pick a Card reading. This time I wanted to go somewhere different. I didn't want to be at my desk. It was such a nice day and I thought, hey, why don't I go and do this reading somewhere beautiful? So I ventured off to West Head, which is just a beautiful little part of Sydney, Australia. As you can see, we've got the South Pacific Ocean in front of us here. And I thought I'd take the camera. We can go on a bit of a nature walk. We can discover somewhere new. And now this is some footage of me just chatting through what we're gonna do, where we're gonna go. And I ended up cutting this, so I'm editing it slightly differently. Because it turns out that it was quite noisy and there were a lot of people. So I thought, why don't I just cut this together, do my own voiceover. And you can skip ahead to the introduction. You don't have to watch this. This is just in case you're interested, if you'd like to see a bit of, a bit of nature. And you can see this giant tree here. One that you probably can't get your arms around. So that shows you how old it is. I'm sure you can see we are now finally approaching water. There's a tiny little beach down below. It takes about 20 minutes to get down here. A lot more stairs. That is going to be fun on the way up. <laughs> I'm really excited to go down there and do a pick a card for you guys. So here we go. So you can see I finally made it down to the beach below. But as you're going to see in this footage, it turns out there are a lot of people. So I am just setting up the camera, getting it ready. And you can see just behind my head, there are all these people. It's like a busload of people have <laughs> arrived. So I sat there for a bit and I thought, no, this isn't the right place. And I walked back up the trail and I managed to find this giant rock. And that's where I've done the reading. So, yeah, as I say, you can skip ahead. You can just watch um, the introduction and step into your reading. I hope it's okay, guys. Every now and then, I just like to do something different. So I think the next few readings, I will definitely be back at my desk. And yeah, things will, things will be a lot more organized. And hopefully I can do one each week, but you know, I'll see how I go. Uh, bookings are open again. So, and when I have bookings on, that means I'm focused on you guys, not so much on content creation. So that's why, that's the only reason why I can't put out as much content because I'm doing bookings. All right, well, I'll leave you to the introduction. Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me here in West Head. I will raise the camera and show you where I managed to get us to this beautiful rock out in the middle of, well, I'm not exactly sure where we are. I know that West Head Beach is down below. We're in West Head, so that's where we are today. I was really hoping to do this on the sand with crashing waves, but that is not to be. So let's just do this, guys. It's really noisy here today. Unfortunately, there's about a million people. Everyone has come here because it's the Easter break. I didn't realize. I honestly thought it would be utterly secluded as it normally is. I've come here many times where there's been no one. So you're going to hear all sorts of noises and there's nothing I can do about it so I, I'm trying I'm trying to make a relaxing space for everyone um, and look at that some we've got a visitor already we've got a lovely little bull ant there I just hope they don't bite me well who knows it's fine and of course we will also honor the Dharamurugal people of this land the original Aboriginal inhabitants of this land, I want to thank them for allowing this reading to happen. I asked them to be with me actually because quite frankly 
I need all the angelic help I can get. <laughs> it's been it's been interesting because I've just been down at the beach. I've been I was trying to film there and it's just not working, and I'm kind of going crazy. I might not even film this. I don't know because there's just wall to wall people. There are people behind me right now. Oh, what can we do? Okay, well, I'm just I'm just gonna get over it. So <laughs> pick from group one, two, or three, and I will see you in your reading. Okay, group number one. If you chose group number one, welcome to your reading. And I'm using the Aboriginal card deck that I bought today. So I want to thank the Dara Murugul people of this land, the Aboriginal inhabitants, the original inhabitants of this land. So we've got the jellyfish card here, which is transparency. Okay. We also have a great big bull ant. I'm gonna have to move him away. Move. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, we've got the seventh house, which is also Libra. Venus, of course, is very much at home here. <laughs> You've got richness, marine life. I pulled for you an extra card, which is from the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck, which is pleasure. Isn't that beautiful? And for tarot, you've got the Eight of Pentacles upright. And you've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so to me, this spread is very much all about you getting really good at shopping around for what it is that you really, really want. And I'm mainly getting that from this card here, which is richness. marine life if you have a look at that there's just so much variety in this card and there's this lady here in the center and she's kind of looking at everything around her she's looking at the richness of life she's looking at the richness of possibilities of what she could have of figuring out what she really wants and I think that's what you're being asked to do because I can definitely see that you are working very hard. You're working hard. You are, hold on, there we go. It's going to focus. You're working hard. You're doing great. Okay. You're on your way to mastering something. You're not quite at that mastery level as yet. This is apprenticeship. To me, this is a card of putting your head down, working hard, getting on with it. The Three of Pentacles for me is a card of mastery where you're really working at a, another level, but you're on your way up. You're working hard and you're on your way up. You're on the move. So this is very good. But here's a question. What is the point of all this hard work if, you know, you can't, you can't enjoy it? And that is definitely something that you're being asked to look at through this spread. You got this card here, which is pleasure. And there's a beautiful full moon there as well. Look at that. She's in nature, she's in the moment, she's in the now. She's free, she's relaxed. And this is to me kind of like the end result of what you're being asked to contemplate or look at, which is to look at shopping around right because the seventh house we can see commerce in this seventh house here shopping around for what for what it is that you really want and that is in terms of I would say in terms of relationships so if you're single this is definitely a spread that's asking you to think about what is it that you really want in that next partnership of yours 
If you're a self-employed business person or a business person, it's asking you to to, to look at the variety of what's possible for your career and what it is that you do. See, sometimes we have tunnel vision. Sometimes we get stuck in a, in a groove and we're just looking in one direction. We're thinking of one thing, but we don't realize that there are so many alternative ways and different ways of doing life. That's what you're really being asked to do through this reading. Um, this card being in reverse, this is quite interesting. This is normally a card of giving, giving out your wealth, sharing your wealth, but you kind of, you, you considering how you want to do it, right? How you want to give out your wealth. You're kind of in the position of doling I don't want to say doling out justice but it's kind of like you're in the position of of bringing about some justice here I think there's there is a bit of a powerlessness maybe you are looking for some justice maybe you are wanting things to come good and I would say that is in relation to work for me these energies are to do with your work and this is very much to do with your private life and you figuring out you figuring out what it is that you want that's really all there is to it now transparency why has this come up why is there a need for for transparency I think you might be wanting transparency from other people actually so I might even put this in with the work side of things I don't know I think there might be something going on with work where there's something not quite 100% and you're after transparency I don't think you need to be more transparent I don't think you could you could get more transparent really I think you're doing the work I think you're on it that's another big message coming from this spread that I think your guides want to tell you you're doing an excellent job and I think they want to take your focus away from whatever this is that's not quite going so great and they want you concentrating your energy here which is to say it's really time to shop around at the richness of life at what it is that you want to create so that you can feel like this a lot more so that this can be your every day really and I think that's very very possible it's just there's something needs resolving here that's all and I don't feel that it's very big at all and I think it's work related uh, and I think I think you're transparent I think you're clear and good you're fine but there's something in relation to your work or there's some injustice or there's something that needs to be sorted out a bit and I think the way to s resolve it I feel almost like it'll resolve on its own if you just bring your focus here if you just get a bit high vibe if you just um, and it might be a little bit of fantasy window shopping wouldn't it be nice if if you can have your attention here that's going to be a really good thing going forward so group one, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Please let me know in the comments below. I'm going to get back to doing some pick a card readings at my desk as well, where I'm going to be a lot more organized and I'm going to have quotes and fun things coming up. So I'm even going to work out some things with like fictional characters and I've got interesting things coming. So stick around on the channel. Uh, let me know how you got on with this reading. I would really love to know and... I look forward to seeing you next time. 
Hi there, group two. If you chose group number two, hang on, I'm just gonna show you your cards. Yes, so if you chose group number two, you are in the right place. Let's take a look at your cards. So, oh yes, I remember you, group two. You got the Hermit Crab. Gratitude, it's a beautiful card. By the way, I want to thank the Dara Murugul people of this land who are the original Aboriginal inhabitants of this beautiful country. Okay, we've got rain. Fantastic. That's lovely. We had a lot of rain actually just here in Australia. Ooh, void of course. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Wow. Okay. Oops. Oh, I can't see them. Hold on. I thought I'd come into the great outdoors today. Just do something a bit different. I hope that's okay with everybody. All right, and you got three, um, three of these tarot cards because they just flew out. So you got justice, which is really lovely. You got the fool. We've got a new beginning of some kind. And you got the Seven of Wands. All right, so there is a very clear uh, set of guidance that we've got here, which is, I'm just gonna move the camera down a little bit, which is basically that you need some time out uh, you definitely need if you could have a bit of hermit time if you could definitely have a bit of time on your own we've got the hermit crab here which is indicating a need to go within a need to be doing your own thing for a little while being grateful of course we've got the word gratitude down there I'm sure you're being grateful but there is a need for you, as we see with the Seven of Wands here, this is typically a card of competition. Or you can see all these wands kind of coming at the person. And this can be a card of perseverance. You're working hard, you're fending off a lot of attacks or criticism or, or people getting in your face. But look at that. In this depiction in the Lightseer's Tarot, I really love this they've put her in a bubble here and she's meditating and she's in her own bubble that's how she's handling all of the attacks and the craziness that's coming her way so there is a need some massive need for you to isolate what I can tell you is that you have manifested justice in this situation it's going to work out okay so things might be nuts right now things might be totally crazy and you might be dealing with quite a lot. I do understand that, but you have manifested a really good solution. You've manifested justice. It's, it's somewhere here for you. And it is gonna bring about a new beginning. Okay, so there is a new beginning on its way, very much. And it might feel like, by the, when you get to it, I tell you how it's gonna feel, it's gonna feel like this. It's going to feel like rain that comes, like you've been a, in a desert for a really, really long time and you've got all this rain. That's, that's how it's, it's going to feel when you bring in this new beginning and the justice that is due to you. It's coming, but you're going to be in no man's land for a little while longer. Okay. Uh, and that is for sure what I can see and say here that it's there there is some time here in no man's land how long is that time that's a really good question if I had a deck with me I would shuffle and I could look and see but I don't have a deck um, hmm you know, we've got a Wands card here. I'm not sensing that... I don't feel like a new beginning is far away for you. 
and I the other thing is I don't get the sense that it's like a major massive new beginning either but it's a new beginning and it's on its way that I can tell you for sure and it's going to feel fantastic it's going to feel really really good this could be tied in with your abundance this could be tied in with money work all that kind of thing it could even just be attention it could even be um, people being interested in you so yes that is work but it could also be romance as well I'm getting a lot more of a work vibe from this spread though a lot more and in fact all of them this time have been they're all kind of to do with purpose this time but the energies are a kind of mild I'm not sensing that there's anything too bad or too wrong uh, that's going on but there is a need for things to be straightened out there is you, yeah so, something you're going through something something needs to be straightened out you you do need things to go your way and I think a bit of time out time out gratitude gratitude for the smallest simplest things that is gonna speed everything up as well so if you are grateful during this no man's land time void of course this hermit sort of time that you're meant to be in if you're grateful I think that's gonna speed the whole thing up and that's gonna bring in this this new beginning and and this much needed rain right this much needed abundance of rain in your life so group number two i'm gonna leave this there it's a it's a shorter reading today i will be back in the office my regular office at some point but i did want to just get out and do something a bit different in the wilderness just give you guys a bit of a taste of nature and look we can see here i mean what a lovely view we've got it is quite nice being out here so i hope i really hope this has been a good reading for you let me know in the comments below how you got on with this and i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group three if you chose group number three welcome to your reading hang on my beads are annoying me I'm just gonna take them off um, yes welcome to your reading group three I'm not in my usual place I am I'll show you where I am if in case you haven't watched the intro look at that I'm out here in nature it's fantastic but it has been all a bit of a production because uh, yeah I, I got down to the beach and I was so excited to film there but it was just too crazy like there are just so many people there and I was getting distracted and I was like no I can't do this there okay so let's take a look at your cards let's see what you got well look at that I mean I'm talking about the beach and you just can't make this stuff up can you we've got the shark here action by the way before I begin I would like to thank the Dara Murugal people of this land the original Aboriginal inhabitants of this land uh, I want to thank them. So look at that shark. You're off to a cracking start there. We've got, oh yes, I remember your group. We've got building atoms. It's kind of like building blocks, really. You've got the moon. How stunning. I just love these cards. They're so good got cancer there got the chariot how cool and we've got the knight of pentacles hold on is that gonna focus yes and it's in reverse okay so what do we have going on here guys this is an action-packed spread You've got to get on with it. I don't know what it is that you're doing, but you have got to move. You've got to do something. It's up to you. The ball is in your court. 
if you don't do something then I don't know what's going to happen <laughs> but action is what's needed from you now if that's disappointing and you wanted me to tell you that you should rest and chill out and go into a bubble go to group number two because they got some of that stuff there but you there's no time to be in a bubble this is no time to be sitting still or doing nothing you got to get on with it and it's really interesting as I speak we've also got some movement happening behind me we've got people walking and talking hmm okay so that is quite interesting because things were quiet I'm pretty sure there was no one walking behind me in the last group and just now we had yep two busy women power walking power walking and talking at the same time you're gonna need some of that energy you got you gotta you gotta get moving now what is this in relation to is this in relation to career love this that what yeah you know I think it could be I'm definitely getting a home feel here because we've got cancer and we've got the moon here the chariot also this when this comes in a love spread this is like the bloke that um, takes forever to ask a lady out kind of thing like this this spread is a massive sort of I want I'm just I'm gonna say it kick up the butt <laughs> kick up the butt spread guys this is asking you to get on with it move act do it if you got to ask her out ask her out if you have to do something send them a letter send them an email send them a letter do it right get on with it this is movement this is movement this is you know get on your bike and go do it make it happen there's also the home here see I'm yeah I'm not getting so much of a career feel here this has to do with home it could be to do with love maybe you actually physically need to move maybe you need to move house or something or, or you're sick of your place or or maybe you just need a change of scene like I did today you know I, I just wanted to go somewhere different I just and I'm here so you know I was a bit restless and I needed to move maybe this is for me um, I must say three is my one of my favorite numbers so um, yeah it might be but um, I did relate to one as well today but that was oh look at that it's a great big caterpillar don't come here caterpillar um yeah look i mean you you gotta you gotta do something i don't know what it is but it's to do with your home building atoms building blocks building blocks building atoms there's movement here as well look at that it's on a gondola or something either you got to get out of a situation or you got to get into a situation or what I don't know fascinating guys there's a there's a there's a lot of action type energy here and you might be emotional about it and so if you're not moving and acting and getting on with it and doing something it's probably your feelings you might have some feelings holding you back might be some emotion But mm, but the energy to, to, to move is so strong that it's unbelievable. You might be being held back by a little bit of fear. But you see, this, this is the slowest moving energy in the deck, in the tarot deck as well. This one comes up, I mean, it's just, when it's upright, that is slow moving energy. So it's, what this is saying is don't be slow get on your horse get on your bike get in your boat get moving right I mean it's just oh, it's so this is just such an obvious one I don't need to dwell too much on this I don't know what this situation is but I need to know, I, I know you need to get on with it that is what I know for sure and I'm going to leave this reading right here guys because it is starting to get a little bit dark and yeah I've been out here for long enough and I gotta hike back up that massive hill and get back to the car and my mum's waiting she didn't come down here because uh, there are far too many stairs it's a bit full-on so 
I'm going to leave this reading here. Guys, if you enjoyed this reading, please let me know in the comments below. I love reading what you have to say and come back next time for a more normal pick a card. <laughs> this was just a bit of a, you know, different one. I, I just wanted to go outside and bring some different energy to this, but um, please do come back next time. I'll, I'll be doing some more interesting stuff. I'll be innovating a bit. I want to do more quotes. I want to do more, um, what else do I want to do? I want to do more quotes. I want to do, I want to involve some like fiction or I've got some ideas for innovating with pick a card reading so come back you'll see I'll be innovating with these as I go bringing in new elements and doing different things so let me know how you get on in the comments below I love hearing from you and as always I look forward to seeing you next time